That was good on YouTube. I I deleted the video on the review that I did for the Garmin 780. Um, because I'm gonna put this up. Um, I'm gonna the real review of that after trying to get it all figured out and all this other crap. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. I, 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 I'm returning it back to the store. Um, I had to come down here to get a, a pickup, and it said that the, the town didn't even exist in North Carolina um, or anything. And so I said, all right, let's try. Like I said, I was on 77 exit 49 there at the pilot slash old Wilco Hess. And for some reason, it could not even find that truck stop, even though I was in the damn parking lot. So, me, like I said, tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. There's two thumbs down. I don't like it. I, I, I don't. I'm returning it to get my money back. I'm not spending $400 plus tax on a piece of equipment that you can't even use. Um, I mean, hell, you can't even locate a truck stop when you're right in the parking lot. Nah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm returning it. I'm just going to try one more time with a battery for the Ram McNally. Um, because like I said before, the Ram McNally, they sent me a refurbished battery, which only lasted a month. So I wasn't too happy about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the quality built of the, of the Garmin is good. I like that. And like I said, the mount was awesome. If, if Ram McNally would have a mount like that, I'm thinking that their product would be a little bit better. Um. You know, the shelf for it was awesome. It was really built st sturdy. Um, I like how strong the magne magnet was because it went around the whole unit. It wasn't just on the just on the middle. So that, that was pretty good. But not being able to find a truck stop that you're sitting in the parking lot at, I said, no. Nah. I said, that's, you know, and th this morning, you know, I tried programming the address in again. And it said the same thing that there was no um, address for it. There's no, there's no town. And I'm like, oh, of course it is. It's right on the map, you know. I mean, so we're gonna give Rand McNally one more try. Um, I'm not purchasing a new one. I don't, I don't believe I am. I mean, unless they got it for four hundred dollars and I can do it even swap, then I'll do it. But as of right now, I'm just two thumbs down. For the for the brain of it, because I mean, like I said, if you can't find a town, I'm in um, Yadkinville, North Carolina, which is just right up. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Um, I gotta find a different place for everything. Um, just up off in 77, um, 231 to 601, and you know, that's that's the town. I mean, you, you drive in here. It's a big town. You can't miss the town. So I said, well, you know, I don't mess around. When I buy, when I pay money, I want something to work. I want to be able to take it out of the box, plug it in, charge it up, and boom, have it working. I don't want to sit here and fight with a $400 piece of equipment and have it not work. So... Everybody has their own opinion. Everyone has the right to, to choose and do whatever they want. But my opinion, I wouldn't waste the $400. Um, like I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to try the new Ram McNally. Or if I'm just going to get a battery. I'll probably just go on their website and order a battery. And make sure and give them a call and make sure it's a brand new battery and not a used one. Because that's kind of stupid to sell a used battery. That makes no sense at all. But like I said, everyone else has their own opinion. You know, there's probably people out there that like it that don't like Ram and Alley. Um, there's people out there who only like the Tom Tom. Um, but like I said, I've going to go back to Ram McNally. I thought I could get this here and be all set, but 
no, it's 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 just not working. It doesn't it doesn't work right. Um, I tried everything to 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 get it to find the address. Um, I just took it off my windshield. Um, just just took it off right now and said, you know what, I'm done. Stop it, stop it. And um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put up with like I said a piece of equipment that isn't gonna work. You know, it's kind of like going out and buying a car and it not working right. What are you going to do? Are you still going to keep that car because somebody said, hey, that car is a good brand. You need to you need to keep it anyways. Well, no, of course not, you know. So that's that's what I'm doing. Like I said, two thumbs down is my recommendation. Um, but, what do I, you know, I'm, I'm just me. I'm me. You know, you all can do what you want. Um, but find somebody who has one and ask them because I, I don't know anybody, um, that has one. So I, you know, I just don't go up to total strangers and say, Hey, you know, what about your GPS? You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't do that. So, so I didn't have an opportunity of checking it out. I went on the web. I looked, you know, and everybody's saying about how they like it and this and that. And. Um, you know, there was a couple of reviews on there, um, unboxing, but I haven't seen any reviews of, of anybody doing anything like, um, Autorial World, he, he undid his unbox, but he didn't, never did a review yet. And I only had mine since, see, I picked it up in Oklahoma, but I didn't use it until I got to South Carolina. I unboxed it and. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, you know, saying no to myself. You know, it's just ain't going to happen. So if I, you know, if I was you guys, I would always check to see what other people think about the product first before you go and spend all that money. You know, because money out here is tight. And if you don't have the money, then it's not worth it. So anyway, so that's what I got going on. Me and Max are sitting here waiting to get loaded. I don't know if you can see. Still got a red light out there. Took a while to get in here. They only had two docks working. Yes, I know. And uh, so anyway, so that's what I'm doing. But like I said, I just want to update you guys on my experience with the, the Garmin 780. Didn't like it. Wasn't impressed. Um, it had a couple awesome features I wish Rand McNally would take. But besides that, there's... If you can't find a town that is, you know, one thing on the map, you come in here, it's a big, big ass town. And then you can't find a truck stop that you're sitting right in the middle of the truck stop itself. I mean, that's just, that's freaking ridiculous. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is my final review of the 780 Garmin. Um we're going to see what happens when I return it. Uh, there shouldn't be no problem. I got the receipt and everything like that. It hasn't been that long. It hasn't even been a week yet. So we're just going to return it and then talk to the, the big boss, a.k.a. the wife, and see what we should do, buy a battery or buy a new one. Um, but anyway, so thank you guys for watching this, and I appreciate everyone. And remember, anything's possible as long as you put your mind and your heart to it. All right, be safe out there and keep the rubber down. All right, bye.